Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, Tazonomi Online Mathematics. We are taking just ended questions on WASI 2025, January, February, core mathematics. This happened to be question 6a. The denominator of a fraction is 6 greater than each numerator. So if 4 is added to twice the numerator and twice the denominator of the same fraction, the result is taken as 2 on 3. We need to know what a fraction is. So what do we do? We, we are saying that the denominator is based on the numerator, right? So we can just say that let x be the numerator, right? So if x is a numerator, we can say that, uh, let me just say first fraction. What will be the first fraction? The numerator. They said denominator is 6 more than the numerator. So the numerator will be x, then x plus what? 6. That's the first fraction we can get. 6 greater than that of the numerator. So if the numerator is x, we add 6 to the x to get the denominator. That's the first part. Now, 4 is added. So if 4 is added, we are going to add 4, right? Is added to twice. So first of all, we need to multiply twice the, the numerator. Twice the numerator, two times. We add four to that. All right. Twice the denominator, which is this. Then we add what? Four to add. Okay, let's see if that is also clear. If four is added to twice the numerator and twice the denominator. Right? So this is going to be our, when I say final fraction, okay, let me say final fraction. I'll be having twice the numerator plus 4. This is going to be twice the denominator plus 4. I don't know if the concept is clear. We are adding 4 to twice the numerator and 4 to twice the denominator. All right. This fraction is now equals to this. So this should be the same as what? 2 on 3. So this becomes an equation involving fraction. So let us expand this one. Since we have a bracket in there, what do we do? Let's maintain the top, which will still remain 2x plus 4. Then in here, we should be having 2 times x as 2x, right? Then 2 times 6, so plus 12, plus 4. This 2 is not multiplying this. So this becomes 2x, 12 plus uh, 4 should be 16. So I should be having 2x plus 16 all equals to 2 on 3. So that we have only two terms in the denominator also. We can cross multiply. If you cross multiply, meaning that this 3 is multiplying the top part, 3 multiplying 2x plus 4, and this 2 also multiplying the down part on the left, 2x plus what? 16. Again, we need to expand the bracket to eliminate the, the bracket, right? So 2, 3, 6. So 6x, six 2, 4, 12, 2, 2, 4, right? And that will be 4x. 2 times 16 should be 32. Again, we need to group like terms, right? So we maintain the 6x here. We transpose the positive 4x to become negative 4x. Maintain the 32. Transpose positive to become what? Negative 12. What happened here? 6 minus 4. So give you 2x. 32 minus 12. So be giving us 20, right? So we divide by 2, meaning. 2x over 2, 20 
over 2. That make your x to become 10. All right. So therefore, the fraction is going to be the x part, which is 10, right? The second part, which will be 10 plus 6, that will be 16. So the fraction we are looking for is 10 on 16. If divide further, I believe 2 can go there uh, to give us 5. 2 can go here, 8. So 5 on 8. Because of the multiplication and addition is what make the fraction here to have equivalent value of what? 2 on 3. So the beginning fraction is not actually having the equivalent of this. It is twice of that plus the 4. That give us this. So we cannot reduce this to come back to this point. I guess the concept is clear. If not, leave your thoughts and comment in the comment section. Ask questions for clarification. Share, like, and subscribe.